Hi, good evening to you. Well, the state DOT cleaned up and packed up not too long ago, locking this gate after the second day of cleaning out this encampment, an encampment that was here for years until yesterday when they held that promise that they posted 11 days ago and cleaned the place out and asked everyone living here to leave. Day two of cleanup at the homeless encampment just off of El Grasso Boulevard. The state owns this land, sitting under an overpass next to the Metro North train tracks. On Monday, they had to evict the nearly 20 people living in tents under the bridge. The structure itself means something to them. Rico Jones was there for the demolition. He lives and works here at the Amistad Catholic Worker, where they've opened their backyard for anyone who needs a place to pitch their tent. You're hungry. We feed you. Need a place to stay. We'll try. And they tried hard, moving things around to make room for 10 people moving from the encampment. All didn't want to go to a shelter. You're patted down when you get in. Your stuff's taken away from you. You, you got to go to bed when they say go to bed. You got to get up when they say get up. And you got to get out when they say get out. Something the DOT didn't want to do on Monday, but felt they had to for safety reasons. About six months ago, someone who was living there was struck and killed by a train that was coming by as they were trying to cross those tracks. That's when Coffee Rouse and the state learned about the encampment. Since then, they've been waiting for shelter space to open up to place the people. We just want to ensure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. But those who called this and other encampments home are hoping for a more permanent solution. It doesn't matter where I go and have my own power source and have my own TV and have my own tent. It's not allowed. Now, those who were asked to leave here yesterday once again were offered alternative housing at the Columbus House and other places throughout the city, and they were also connected to some community resources. And just to give some perspective on the magnitude of homelessness right here in New Haven, the wait list at Columbus House right now is full of 82 individuals and 22 families. We are live here in New Haven tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.